Beginning in July 2018, New York State schools are required to implement recently updated provisions regarding health education. The focus of the updated curriculum is specifically on mental health as a critical component of overall health, well-being, and human dignity. The statistics are alarming. As many as one in five students may be experiencing some form of serious mental disorder. Only 40% of those with mental illness seek treatment. New York State loses an average of 80 students to suicide each year, and 5,000 emergency room visits are due to suicide attempts among school-age children. Focusing on positive health behaviors during childhood is far more effective than changing unhealthy behaviors during adulthood. There has never been a better time to move mental health education out of the shadows and into the classroom where it belongs. As a board, you can support the process by becoming well-versed about the scope of the new requirements and a leading voice in helping to decrease the stigma attached to mental health issues. Your support is instrumental in creating a positive school climate for all students, especially those who are struggling. Boards should discuss how to leverage school, community, and family partnerships that build your district's capacity to better serve students in need. Remember, you're not alone in this effort. Mental health professionals are eager to be involved. Bring them into the conversation early at your board meeting or at a planning committee meeting. We've linked this video to important resources, including the current guidelines from the New York State Education Department. So, what's next on your agenda?